I'll be darned. I definitely slept in today. It's 11 o'clock and I'm starting my day. <laughs> that sucks. Oh well. Uh, working on editing the Beyond a Brixie video. Also just scheduled our members only Zoom meeting that happens every Tuesday. Yeah, 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 perfect. Also uh, in that Zoom meeting we're gonna be giving away 10 30 US dollar gift cards. I've got a busy day ahead of me today. Wow, gotta go to the PO box and uh, wrangle up a few packages. Also have to um, essentially prepare everything for the Zoom chat and the members only Zoom chat and the giveaway as well because I gotta export the list of, of all the members and there's no easy way of doing that. And then I've gotta make a video on the city because I'm actually thinking of doing some drastic changes to the city. And yeah, that's it's just gonna be a busy, busy, busy day, uh, just like Tuesday is. Tuesday is always my my busiest day of the week uh, because there's a lot going on. Uh, and now I'm editing the Brixie video from yesterday, which was my birthday, and I'm doing that here at uh, 11 o'clock. I wish I would have woke up at like eight and got this done. But now I gotta get it done ASAP. Uh, my poor man Tico was probably wondering why the heck I haven't gone on a walk yet. But I gotta I gotta get this video processing because it's a uh, 25 minute video and then I'll walk him while it's processing. I think that's the best solution. <sighs> busy day, busy day. I just got back from walking the dogs. I just can't wait for this cold weather to stop. Look at this, in the house, it's frozen. Look at this, the door barely opens anymore. This is ridiculous. Like, there's nothing I can do to prevent that. I have to let my dogs out to go pee. There's nothing I can do. Outrageous. Look at him. He doesn't care. He's like, I'm chilling out here and just chilling on the deck. Negative 30, Dad. Like, what a beast. He's just happy to be out there, man. Just, just chilling. I don't get it. Like, how could you be out there right now? Oh my gosh, you are a weird dog. Well, I've come across some disturbing stuff recently while editing my videos. It's not disturbing, but for me it's disturbing. I've noticed that when filming with this phone, and actually my old phone as well, with any mobile device, sometimes the audio video sync is off. And I don't know if it's off right now, but when I go to edit it, it drives me crazy. And it's like inconsistent. It's not like it's all off by a tenth of a second. The first portion of the clip is off, the second portion of the clip isn't off, the third portion of the clip is off by even more, and it's a video editing nightmare and there's no way of fixing it. The only way of fixing it is, I don't know, go into the Samsung store and be like, what's up with this phone? Why is it doing this? What's going on? I've read some forums online and they say there's no fixing it. It's just because the video audio the, the the camera is so far away or yada 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 so i don't know what the dealio is with that it's pretty annoying though uh i have a solution i recently acquired the new gopro 9 the problem is is the gopro 9 has terrible audio as well but i bought something that's going to connect to the gopro 9 and i hope it increases our video quality so essentially the remainder of this video will be filmed on the GoPro Hero 9 with the media mod. And I'll show you that right now. So this is the GoPro Hero 9. This is the media mod. Essentially it goes right into the GoPro. You can see it connects right there. It gives you the external mic right there. So it's gonna improve our audio quality. Also it adds these adapters. So. Uh, the micro HDMI and a couple different ones there. Also an auxiliary input, so you can put an external mic right into it. Also, it's got the clips on the top, so you can hook up additional mics if you want. Now, I'm going to test the audio video quality of the GoPro Hero 9 uh, when we add this uh, media mod to this. And we're going to try and use this as much as we can throughout future videos. In particular, when we're like this... <laughs> As I've noticed way too many times, the video audio is out of sync and it drives me crazy. But when we're like this, it doesn't really matter if the video audio is 
is off a little bit, that doesn't really matter. Unless I'm like making noises with my hands and motions and stuff like that. When I'm vlogging, like what I do on this channel, it's imperative that my mouth matches the audio that you hear. Let's try this camera out. Well, holy crap am I dumb. I bought it on the fly on Amazon. This is for the eight. I need it for the nine. Holy crap, I feel stupid. I need it for the nine, not the eight. Oh my gosh. So I guess I'll return this to Amazon and we won't be using this camera. My God, I'm stupid. Wow. I guess when I was in the car with Kevin, when I bought this, I was like, oh yeah, look, I need that. Went and bought it. I didn't look, but obviously there's the nine and the eight and I bought the eight. <laughs> I thought they were the same, but no. So I guess I'll just return this. Thankfully, Amazon has like the best return system in the planet. And then I'll just buy the Hero 9 mod. I could go get it from Best Buy, but the Best Buy that has it is on, is on the other end of the city. And that's just, I don't feel like driving to the other end of the city to pick it up when I could have it by February 12th. It's February 9th. So it'll be here, uh, what is it, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It'll be here by Friday. It'll be here by the weekend. So better than driving across the city. Well, I'm 30 now, so if anything, I've learned patience, and oh well, we'll get it when we get it, and we'll be able to use it. I'm sorry if the uh, audio is out of sync in this video, but it's going to be out of sync for a few more days uh, until we get this media mod here. That sucks. I can't believe I bought the wrong one. That's hysterical. <clears throat> here I am. <laughs> We're going to get some awesome video today. But no, I guess not until Friday now. <clears throat> um... But uh, luckily for us, we were one of the things we had to do today was go to the P.O. box uh, to pick up some parcels and drop off some parcels, and we can drop off this return, and it is what it is. It'll be all good. I bet you it arrives early. I bet you it arrives tomorrow or even the next day. I bet you I bet you by Thursday we have it for sure. Uh, geez, got to freshen up here, and then uh, we're going to roll on out to the post office, and I got to get my day going here. Got to export the list of uh, the members and I've got to start working on some of these Lego City changes or at least start cultivating a plan for some of these Lego City changes as well and make the Brixie video, which I don't know what it's going to be yet. Jeez, man, I can't believe I got the wrong media mod. No, I was excited to use it. In the meantime, oh, dogs are barking at something. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, list these items on my Bricklink store. My dogs are nuts, eh? I just finished making the video for tomorrow for Brixie, and that's the review on the alternate build, Castle Fortificado, and I'm really excited about that. Now I'm thinking about the LEGO City. Now, recently one of my members sent me this diagram here uh, for the train yard, and I've also been reading a lot of comments about what to do on my LEGO City. So, things are gonna change big time. Big time. Over here is pretty much going to stay the same, but all of this is going to change. Um, it's going to be a drastic change. It's going to be a very good change. It's going to take a lot of time to complete. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these changes in tonight's live stream with my members. And I'm going to get their input throughout the whole thing so that I can blame it all on them. With the additions of all of my birthday gifts, which is mostly nerd shirts, also, I got a bunch of nerd shirts for Christmas. I had to thin out my closet. This is what remains, along with the new additions. We got rid of that. We got rid of that. There's a lot of jeans in there. I don't wear jeans anymore. <laughs> and we're getting rid of this here. The only reason we're getting rid of that is because it doesn't fit me. And these ones don't really fit me either. Whew. Hey, and look what Jose got herself. That's pretty cool. In the very near future, I'll do a complete closet tour, and I'll show you all of my funky shirts. So I'm just about to start my live stream here with the members where we're going to be changing the entire Lego city. It's going to be nuts. That's all I can say. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited though. I'm really excited to take everyone's opinion and ideas and sort of mash them all together and come up with some really cool changes that will change the Lego city for the better. Just finished our members only live stream. It was a lot of fun. We got a lot of stuff done, but it ended abruptly. I have some stressful things coming up here right away. 
But before I tell you that, I'm going to eat these delicious tacos that my wife made. Ooh, El Paso. Yeah, so we were doing the members only live stream and it was going smoothly. Got all the uh, gift cards, selected the gift card winners. Just got to mail those all out now or essentially enter the order in online and send them to people's emails and stuff like that. And then we started working on the Lego City, which is also coming along great. Uh, it's a heck of a mess right now, but some really good changes happening to the city, which I'm really excited about. Uh, and then <clears throat> partway through the, the uh, Members Only live stream, I don't know if you guys know some of my past life, well, some from the life from the past vlogs, I guess. Uh, I got a call from my tenant because when we moved, we decided to keep the property and rent it out. And ever since we've rented out, that property has been nothing but a headache. Uh, first, they call me. They got uh, they got water in the basement. Okay, I go over there. I test uh, the, from the tub. I test the tub. The overflow pipe just needs a new gasket. No problem. Uh, we fix that. Then they uh, text me, okay, the back door uh, is no longer closing, it's jammed. Okay, so I replaced the door handle. No big deal. Easy fix. And they call me, oh my gosh, there's uh, ankle deep water in the basement. Tree roots, clog the sewer line, had to get them grounded out. All right, I can deal with that. We dealt with that. Uh, then they text me, call me, saying the oven's not working. Oh my gosh, the oven's not working. I go over there the next day. I flick the double breaker off, I flick it back on, it works. No problem. And they tell me, oh my gosh, there's water in the basement again. Same thing, the tub problem. Okay, well, what the heck? So I go over there, we place the gasket, we test everything. It works. We run it for 10 minutes. The overflow pipe is working perfectly. No problem. It works. Done. We're out of there. Then we're live streaming today. I get another call from them again. Oven's not working. They did the breaker trick. Oven still isn't working. Oh, and I'm like, okay, well, it's just the oven. Thank goodness. I thought it was the furnace or something because it's negative 30 and it's freezing. I thought the furnace was going to be down or something. No, no, it's not that. It's just the oven's not working. The and then the breaker trick wasn't working. I've been texting them all even not working. So I might have to replace the element in the oven or replace the whole oven. Whatever. I can deal with that. But then, after I tell her I'm scared that it might be the furnace... We're still getting water in the basement. Like, it's been two months since we fixed it and tested it. How long has water been coming in the basement? The whole time. And you guys haven't told me this. You guys have been getting water in the basement and you haven't told me this? You've got to be joking me. So now, of course, I've got to get the plumber back over there and we got to get the water line. we got to test and diagnose the problem again and find out what the actual problem is because... I don't think it's the overflow pipe, even though we tested everything. We ran the shower, we ran everything, and, and it seemed to be the overflow pipe was the problem, and we fixed it, but now they're still getting water in the basement. And I've probably got to replace the oven. And that's when I decided to abruptly end the live stream, just because like I was just clouded. It's like, I can't even get my mind off this because I'm flabbergasted. <clears throat> this is my first rental property, and I just don't know if it's for me. I don't think it's for me. This is crazy. Maybe I'm just having a, a lemon of a house. But the thing is, is, I lived there forever. I never had problems. I lived in that house for... Oh, jeez. I moved in there when I was 21. And I lived there for eight years. Eight and a half, nine years almost. And I had no problems. And then I rented out to somebody and there's just problem after problem after problem after problem after problem. I don't know if it's them or it's the house or it's me or if this is just somebody saying to me hey man you're not a guy who who should be in the rental game i don't know maybe maybe that's it reality is it's not the end of the world got to get a plumber over there fix it so the water no longer goes in the basement and i've got to replace the stove move on with my life so i could i'm, I'm tossing in the towel sell the place move on or i could just say you know what 48 hours of hardship, go get a new oven, fix the thing, and be on with it. I'm going to go eat some ice cream cake with my wife and watch finish watching the day after tomorrow as I fell asleep on that uh, during that movie while uh, we were watching it on her birthday. And everybody, that's it for me. I'm signing off for the day.
ridiculous. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Peace out.